Welcome. I'm going to do a little bit of analysis of one of my PUBG games. This one was a fog map. A uh, plane's going to go from Millie up towards Georgia Pole. We're going to head for Novo. Uh, it's a fog map, so what you really want to concentrate on early game is, is where the enemies are. Uh, pick an early fight if you can. So we've got a guy coming down with us to Novo. Um, just the one, and he's going to land just to the north of us. So we're going to be aware of that. We're going to land. We're going to loot up. Uh, and I think initially we're just looking for anything. I'm going to speed this up just because looting. And I think initially we end up with a shotgun. Ah, there you go. Nice 12. Jump for the Tommy gun. Just miss it. I'll come back for that later. Get ourselves a backpack. And really at this stage, you're just looking for improving your weapons. So we get the scar, which is an improvement on the shotgun. And I think I even swapped the sight round. Yeah, there you go. Level 3 helmet. Level 2 vest. There's a four times there. There's that Tommy gun. They'll look at it and go, yeah, I would have done, but now I've got a scar. And then there's the AK. So we take the AK and the scar. And then these crates down here are always good. There's always stuff in here to be had. Get rid of our shotgun shells. Get ourselves a mag. Energy drink. Flash hider. Flash hider is really good in the fog. Because visually, it's probably the, the way you'll be seen most often. Now I can hear footsteps. Yeah, and he's just coming out. And I get four good shots on him. One, two, three, four. There you go. A couple more for good measure. Easy kill. He's just come running out. He's firmly in looting mode. He wasn't paying attention. And he's paid the price. I nick some of his gear. He's got some meds and a few other bits and pieces. And now you start to think about what are we going to do next, and primarily about the circle. So the circle's down at Primorsk. So we need to start thinking about how we're going to get over there. Um, obvious answer is boat. Uh, and Novo's well served for boats. There's usually some alongside the quay, and if not, you can run round to the north edge of the island, and there's normally a boat to be found there. Um, I think we're going to have a bit of a loot on the way, but we're making our way over towards the quayside. Nothing in there. And now we have a good look down, nothing to the south, but there's a boat to the north. Now usually, with a circle like that, rather than go under the two bridges, we'll go south, round the bottom of Millie Island. I think we'll speed this up as well. I think we change boats here, because we've only got half a tank of fuel. This one's got a full tank of fuel. We might as well go um, with the boost on. So we're going to go around the south side of Millie Island. Land at the bottom of Primorse, the south edge. There's a couple of good warehouses that you can loot. And there's obviously the diner. And then as you as you go up, there's then a few more houses and things. But we're in a reasonable place for kit. So really it's just looking to fill in those gaps. Maybe a few more meds. But again, I think if you're going to come in on a boat, you need to think about your escape route. Particularly if there's going to be people there. I'm judging by the plane path, there's a good chance someone would have long floated it. So we need to keep our eyes open. So I think we're going to make sure we scout out when we get there and see if we can hear anything obvious. Look for open doors. I think I stop here just to yeah, just to check if there's any other boats. So we're coming up to Promorsk. And we're going to beach it just south of the warehouse. Run it up the beach. Gonna have a bit of a look. 4x particularly good. And then we're gonna go and have a bit of a loot. And again, we'll run this forward. We're just trying to keep an eye out, looking for open doors specifically. I any sites of company. This looks sort of looted. There's a few bits and pieces, but I'm thinking already, hmm. Yeah, it's looking pretty looted, isn't it? So we get up here, thinking about looting this third one and the diner. But yeah, it's a buggy. 
so we know it's been looted. Let's have a quick look. Is the door open? Yeah. Yeah. We'll steal this buggy and go, I think. Just have a quick look, see if we can hear any footsteps, see anything. Doesn't look like it. So we'll take the buggy and bug out. And again, we'll run this on. But again, we're kind of looking for somewhere to stop and get a bit more loot. And I kind of like this little spot here. Two houses. It's plane coming. It's not too near to us. A few odds and ends to loot. Med kit. Get on our way. Take the gas can, just top the buggy up. Not that we'll need it, but it's there. There we go, refuel. And again, we're going to go a bit further up towards the centre. And particularly in fog, centre position is absolutely critical. It's one of those things that um, movement is the thing that kills you. And in fog, movement's really tricky. You've got to be super careful. So we stop short. And we're just going to scout out. As we approach the buildings, just keeping an eye out for things. And this little bit of swamp's annoying as well, because there's a fair bit of background noise. And of course, in fog, noise is your primary means of detecting enemies. As I come up on the ridge, I think I'm just going to slow down and just have a little bit of a scout around. We get the 4x out. Can we see anything? It's just on the edge of it, a bit of visibility. Doesn't look like anybody's home. So we're going to approach. And we're going to have another look. No point just storming in. You just hear a vehicle. So where's he? He's approaching the compound. He's going straight through. He hasn't seen us. Did we open fire? Let's pursue him. Let's see where he's going. I think he's going to stop, park and come back. Yeah. Yeah, and you can hear he's stopped. So let's get up to this ridge and let's just wait for him. And we go prone. We'll speed this up a bit. Patience is the virtue here. We're just going to wait for him. It's really tempting at this point just to get up and run for it. No noise. It's hard to just move over to that tree. Oh. Yeah, there he is. Get some good shots down on him. Oh, over. Missed, missed, missed right. Missed right again. Headshot. Got him. A few more for good measure. So not the greatest, but it's a kill. Let's go see what we get. Millie vest. A bit more ammo. Am I going to go back that way? Have a look. But we're going to skirt around that compound because the reason he went in and went straight through. So let's avoid it. Use the hillside just to shield us from the buildings. A few little windows noises there, sorry. Shadow play for you, records everything. And again, we're just keeping an eye out, particularly from those houses, because if they've decided to leave. Circle's good to us, so we're, we're going to head up towards the centre of the circle. But again, keeping a good watch. And particularly up here, it's really hard to tell what's a bush, what's a person. Give yourself a chance, really. So now we're kind of cresting this hill and coming down the other side. You can hear a plane. So where's that? Just see it in the fog, maybe? Yeah, there he is. He's dropped one. Now, I'm going to talk about fixation. So I'm now fixated on that. Oh, is it in the circle? Can I get it? Will anybody there? 
And if you watch, I am fixated running south towards it. I go up the hill a little bit just to have a bit of a look. Now I'm about to cross this road and common sense kicks in and says, oh, I'm a bit exposed here. So I start looking and think, actually, that's too far. And it's out the circle. And if I turn around, you drop two. Now, if I'd have had a bit of patience, I would have seen that. And it would have been um, an easier get. But as it is, it's far too far away. I hear some shot. I can hear a vehicle. So now I'm out in the field. Nice jump, my friend. Do I shoot? No, just no good cover. But let's just watch him. He's going up that way. I will follow. But again, that's the power of get fixated. So we're going to go back to the original plan. A few more gunshots. And we'll speed this up a little bit. But again, we're trying to keep a good watch out. Use the hillside to reduce the chances of being picked off from the left. And we're going to try and find somewhere to, to lay up. Again, to check our, check our six. And again, we've got another open area to cross. But then there's a bit of cover and some decent bushes. So I decide I'm going to hide in this bush. Get my bearings. Here's some more shots. And have a think about what we're going to do next. So we're in good position. We've got some decent kit. We're in the centre of the circle. But we're not in an ideal position. So what are we going to do? Now ideally, wait for something to cover you. Um, and the game helpfully provides this for us in a second. But really, I'm, I'm just keeping an eye out, hoping someone will run past. But I don't really want to reveal myself if I can avoid it. So here we go, the plane. Gives you a good opportunity, covers your sound. So I think, well, let's go up here because there's a little observatory up here. We'll use the sound as the cover, which means we've got to keep a really good lookout. There you go, he's dropped. And again, we'll talk about fixation, shall we? But I know all eyes are going to be on that drop, so you can safely approach. Because no one's looking for you. Everyone's looking at that drop. And in fact, as you'll see, I don't even see the guy running so next to that bush. I'll even go through the bush. There he is. I look up again. I finally realise he turns around. Let's engage. Good shot, good shot, good shot. Three good shots. Got him. Now I've got a dilemma. I've just attracted all the attention towards me. So I'm going to just sit in my bush. Just see what happens. Shots. More shots. I'm just going to bide my time. The corpse isn't going anywhere. Now this is Kit. The drop's dropped over there. I'm going to crawl over because everyone's going to be concentrated on that. Loot. And again, he's got some good stuff. And more importantly, he's got an AR suppressor. Double AR suppressor. Because giving away sound information is kind of critical. So I'm pretty pleased. I'm going to get some bits. And get back to my bush. There you go. A bit more windows noise. There you go. So now I've got a good position. I'm in a bush by a rock. We're good for circle. I'm now worried about behind me and the edges. There's a vehicle. This guy jumped out of the vehicle. Let's take some shots. Bad aim. Good shot. Miss, miss. Miss. I don't know how I missed those two. I'm going to miss those two. Go, pull. No, I missed again. And he's out of trouble now. Luckily, though, suppress shots. So he doesn't really know where I am. Problem is, if you're nearby, you probably do know where I am. Shots near me. Suppressed. Now that was close. And a bit more windows noise. The circle's one minute twenty away. Just need to bide my time. Oh, 
Well, there's a guy in there looting, but he's not going to peek. I'm kind of worried he might just come out around the two side balconies and never look. That's why I'm looking at him. But I'm also just trying to check the other angles. But I don't think this guy's going to peek. So if the seven other people are alive, I know one of them's in there. Where are the other six? Med up. Maxima boost. And I start to look around. What can I see? Minute and a half on the circle. I'm pretty much in. Let's have a look over here. Oh, there's a guy. Just dropped into the bush. Yeah, he's just there. Let's give it a grenade. Nothing else will flush him out. He gets up. First grenade goes off. It's close. Must have got some hits on him. Second one goes in. Switch to my primary. Take some shots. That second grenade should flush him out. You can just see him. He's gone way left now. You can see him on the left-hand side. So I need to readjust my aim. Grenade goes off. He's by that tree. Just see his backpack there. And in fact, it's his backpack that kills him. Otherwise, I wouldn't have seen him for the level three. And then we get him there. So, yeah, moral of the story. If you're going to crawl on your belly, don't wear a level three backpack. That's far too risky to go and loot him. So I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to leave those. And I've got everything I need anyway. So again, let's just check our surroundings. Circle's going to come in soon. Shots. That's close. That's close. So where is he? Let's have a bit of a look round. Circle's starting to close. So we're going to look round this rock and see what we can see around this side. Can't see anything. They've got to be there. There's only five people alive. One's in the building. So where are these guys? Again, I don't really want to reveal my position. I can avoid it. But I've got to go forward for the next circle. Med up. Just have a look around the back of the rock. More shots to the right. Really conscious of the circle now. Six seconds, five seconds. There he is there. You can see him running. Let's take some shots. Get a hit. Get two hits. Oh, he's crawled away, I think. I'm shooting at thin air at this point. At some point, you've got to disengage. You've got to realise you're not getting it. He doesn't really know where I am, I don't think. You can see him moving. I'm just not hitting him. I'm waiting for him to come the other side of the tree. Circle's moving. That circle's about to catch me. Again, fixation. More shots to my right. Still engaged. I think finally I disengage. Yeah, the circle, the circle damage makes me think, okay, stop. So I know he's over there, but I need to get cover, get into this bush. This is now the final circle. So three alive, one to my left, one in there. Here he is. We can take him down. Miss, miss, hit, hit, miss. Just need one more, one more hit. It's going to come this side of the buggy. There we go, that's him finished. So, three alive. And we know one of them's to the left, but I have no idea where the other two... Sorry, no, there's only three alive, one of them's me. So there's one to my left. Where's the other guy? 
I know I'm thinking, what do I do? I'm thinking, I don't want to move. I know there's a guy to my left. Where's the fourth guy? Third guy, sorry. Med up. Took a tiny bit of circle damage, circle damage didn't I? Now, in hindsight, I probably should have moved to the left and towards that bush. There's a bush there by that tree. Because that would have given me a better look back to my right. And I'm just getting shot now. And I think it's the guy on the left, judging by the sound. It's coming from the left. And he kills me. And it's an ump. So I hope you enjoyed that. I got five kills. Ended up in the top three. Um, the fog maps can be fun. I hope you've enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.